The Lord Jesus is the truth. Now is the time to come back to Him. Do not, de do not delay nothing. When you're sitting at home and all of a sudden you've got this urge to go to church, get up that moment, even if it's one o'clock in the morning. Doesn't matter the church is closed, but Christ's door is never closed. It is that building's door closed. But the house of Christ is you. you your heart is His house. He's dwelling in your heart. He's dwelling in you. When He called you to go, get up and go. Because Jesus is waiting there for you. He wants to heal you. So it is a, it is a visitation of grace. That's the Holy Spirit. It's called the visitations of graces. When He touches you and without knowing something happened inside of you, you have no explanation. You get up one day and say, I've had enough of this sinful life. I've had enough. What happened? Nobody said nothing to you. You got up and you just had a change of heart, a change of mind. No, it is Jesus touching you through His Holy Spirit. The touches of graces. Because we're living in the time of grace. God is gracious toward you. Take advantage of it. Don't walk away from Him. Run to Him before the door is shut. And it's too late. And it's too late. Run to Him, my beloved. Stop living in the pig's field. Come out of that pig's field. What is that pig's field to you? Is it drugs? Is it alcoholism? Is it gambling? Is it men and women living in sin? Is it, what is it? Is it Star City Casino? Is it dark alleys? Is it King's Cross? Is it Las Vegas? Is it filth and nakedness? What is that for you, my beloved? Come out of that pig's field. You don't belong there. You are the son of the Most High God. Purchased by the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb of God. You belong to Jesus. You do not belong to Satan. Step on Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Step on him. No more. I will not be tempted by the lust and the pleasures of this filthy world. I don't need to be rich. Who said I need to be rich? I don't need to. I need to be rich in Christ, not in materialistic things. I don't need to be beautiful for the world. I need to be beautiful for Christ. Let your heart be beautiful, not your face. For God's sake, beautify your heart, not your outer appearances, your inner person. Make that inner person beautiful for the Lord. I don't need friends that take me to the wrong places for the wrong reasons. I need one friend. His name is Jesus. And through this friend, let he bring other friends that he chooses for me, not I choose for myself. Let him choose for me, friends. Stop going at night time to the clubs. Come to the light of the world. Come to his holy house, the church, which he established on Calvary through his precious blood. Come and receive him because the time of grace is still, still ticking.